Ventilators, simply put, they are machines that help people breathe when they can't breathe on their own. But from coast to coast, they're in high demand, but short supply as we deal with the coronavirus pandemic. This afternoon, our Sherry Matsuzawa spoke with a local company that makes parts for ventilators used around the world. Yeah, Tammy, Computrol is an electronics contract manufacturer, which basically means they build electronic assemblies for other companies. And they've seen the demand for these ventilator parts skyrocket. Now, the company works with the medical field as well as military defense markets, and some of their work includes making parts for ventilators, as we mentioned. The company's vice president, John Hansen, tells me they build printed circuit boards that go into the ventilators, and the biggest ventilator company that they deal with has gone from three to 400 units a month to 1,800 units a month since the coronavirus outbreak, a significant increase, but their work isn't only limited to ventilators. We do work with uh, other companies who are in the medical space, and one of them is doing uh, at the front lines of the COVID testing. They provide machines that, in an automated fa fashion, handle the, the uh, sample and put it into the tester so that it can be tested, and of course, their demand is skyrocketing as well, and they're asking for our help in building more and more machines because the global need is so great. Computrol is headquartered right here in Meridian, and it started in 1984, but they are just one of several local companies that are doing their best to aid in this crisis. And coming up on the news at 6, we'll introduce you to another company that's also doing their part. Tammy? Okay, looking forward to that. Thank you, Shira.